Hey, welcome back to the channel. Let's check out the Fort Nameless Suite by Neural DSP. <laughs> So Mike Fortin's been around a long time and is the mastermind to producing and making some of the iconic metal amps of recent years. This amp is no exception. This is Meshuga's signature amp, but for some legal reasons, they can't use the Meshuga branding on the name of the amp. But you're not limited just to Meshuga tones. You're not limited to like a gent style of playing. I'm a traditional thrash metal player and i absolutely love this piece at this amp I, I love playing with it i got it earlier in the week i had other projects to do and just fell in love with these tones and uh just rocking out riffing out for what it is it, it sounds so good so basic understanding of of how this amp works it's modeled off a plexi with the two different gain structures here you've got your master volume here which is a push pull pot and when you pull the pot it turns it into a different gain stage like a gain before the preamp which gives a totally different not a totally different sound it's just another another gain stage that you can use in a different way to create your own tone i love metal albums that have really unique flavors you listen to injustice for all what metallica did with the mezza boogies and then what dime did with the randall rg100s and his setup like those are really unique distinctive guitar tones that are their own and this to me is an amp that can do exactly that for anyone it can make your own tone that's really brutal and really metal but uh, a really quality classic tone at the same time the basic mid presence bass controls are all the same but they they have their own voice the way that they work I find I didn't just dial it in like a regular amp. I had to get familiar with the way that this amp actually works. But it didn't take long. I was up and away probably in half an hour. I had some really great tones I was super happy with. So the interface window is pretty straightforward. You've got your input and your high and normal processing. So your high will use a bit more CPU power. But I've, I can definitely tell in the, in the tonal differences between the high and normal and your window at the top here to choose from your stomp effects through to the main amp and then your cabinets so we'll start with the stomp effects here and these are all pedals that mike fortin had made up this being the zool uh, noise gate pedal it works it's well suited on this software i find the noise gate isn't intrusive it just cuts out and does its thing and you don't get any unwanted noise at the tail end which i really don't like in a lot of noise gates that you get like a, a weird tone just coming through just as the noise gate is releasing so this this doesn't have that <laughs> There is a built-in noise gate with the software that you can use, but I turn that off so that I've got full control with the stomp effect if I choose to do a solo or, or something. I don't need to turn off two different noise gates. So the hex drive, it's an OD pedal that Mike Fortin made up, and I've just got this in my chain here that I use when I get to it. If I want to do a solo, I just hit that and now... As saturated as that guitar tone is, you can hear every single note just like piercing through. It's it's really cutting. It doesn't none of your none of your leads will get lost in any mix with this amp. So you can buy all these pedals straight from Mike Fortin himself. I'll have links down below. But this grind pedal stands out to me. It's got a really it's it's almost based off a treble boost pedal, but uh, it's got its own voicing that gets pushed through. It's really metal. It gives if anything, it's, it adds that real uh, like Gary Holt, Exodus attack to, to what you're playing. So I'll just turn it off for a tick. Now turning it on. 
So as you can see, it's, it's really got its own attack there. It adds a really cool dynamic to your metal tone. So now to the main face here. If I push the volume pot in, it really is just like a volume control for the, but now we'll pop it out. So it's still a volume control, but you can see it changes the dynamic and adds a, a lot more density to the signal as you turn it up. This is what's unique between the stomp effect gains, the gain on the volume and these two gains here, depending on the input that you put your lead into. On input one, you're actually utilizing both, both of these gains. Uh, moving on now to the cabinets. What I love about this amp sim is you're not overwhelmed with too many options that don't do anything well. You've got this one cabinet and you've got an array of microphones that all sound great. Different condensers, ribbons, dynamics. Uh, you can change them in and out of phase. You can pan them left and right for a big stereo sound. And they're really easy to move around and, and you can just pick a, a great tone. So we can add a second microphone and pan them if we want to uh, make a, a big sound. That's a that's a great tone. I love it. It's it's not a messer. It's not a anything. That's so. There's a whole array of different presets and users that have been through here and made their own presets that you can go through and check out. And they're very cool. Gives you an understanding of how people are voicing the amp to suit themselves. You've also got a built-in tuner down here. <laughs> So the tuner is very effective, easy to use, and it's straightforward. You've also got here some MIDI mapping. If you've got a MIDI foot switch, you can program it right here to as you wish, so you can play and use this live. This has its standalone version. I'm using it through Logic now just for the recording. As well, if you've got your own IRs that you prefer to use, you can load those IRs into this software as well, which is really easy. So as an honest opinion about this software, I think it's absolutely amazing what they've done here and captured such a brutal guitar tone that has the clarity and definition and dynamics of, it's just so well done, it's so nice, it sounds so real. It's uh, Anyone that's into amp sims at all, do not go past this. This is an amazing amp sim. Uh, 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10, we'll just stop the channel there.